This is my son, look. He's doing uh, a workout anyway. That was about seven. We'll leave him to do my his workout. We'll leave him to do his workout. Uh, heat treat day today for stainless. Down here, the CO2. Uh, I've decided to go with uh, uh, dry ice freeze cycle. Uh, so I'm going to go with um, dry ice and isopropanol alcohol. Um, I've got more isopropanol alcohol to add to this container. But I've made a little rack so the knives can sit separated. And then, uh, well, I'll bring you back as I do that. Currently, the knives are in the kiln, all wrapped up in their foil packets. I've programmed the um, Ramp Master controller. Uh, so basically, I can show you what I've done. Uh, so I've got two segments, I'm ramping at full power to 770 centigrade, I'm holding for 13 minutes, I'm ramping at full power to uh, 1065, 1065 uh, centigrade, I'm holding for an hour. I won't be holding the blaze in there. The, the, the kiln will maintain that temperature for an hour if I leave it, but I'll be pulling the blaze out in about 30 minutes. And the alarm is set also for 1065 centigrade. And it's complete. So all I've got to do now is uh, recall one, enter, uh, and enter. Are we running? The kiln is now uh, running. The quench plates are here. Two uh, heavy one inch thick aluminium quench plates. The compressor to blast the uh, compressed air. We're ready to go with that. So the plan of action is to extract the blanks, I'll probably do a couple at a time, place them onto the, plench, onto the quench plates and then I've got a couple of these clamps and they're going to go down, uh, they're going to go down like that and then I should clamp, I'll get a fair amount of pressure with those uh, and hopefully that will be that. Here's part of the uh, data sheet produced by CPM Industries. These are the man this is the manufacturer of the steel. Uh, so if we zoom into the hardening, it says preheat to 1400 Fahrenheit, 760. Uh, so that's I decided to hold for 13 minutes there. Why 13 minutes? Well, 13 minutes just a lucky number, I suppose. Some people say hold for 10 minutes. I think it just needs to be held for a little bit to allow it to stabilise at that temperature. And then uh, ramp up to uh, austenizing temperature, which is between 1900 and 2000 Fahrenheit. That's uh, 1037 to 1093 centigrade. I think I went for 1065. So I'm midway on that. Hold time at temperature 30 to 60 minutes. I started pulling the blades out at 30 minutes. They're only thin sections. Uh, quench between the quench plates and then recommended uh, heat treat practice panning across to the right it says to completely transform any retained austenite a freezing temp treatment with dry ice at minus 100 Fahrenheit that's minus 74 centigrade is recommended and this uh, converts most of the remaining austenite to uh, martensite with the dry ice you get down to minus 78.5 so that's why I did that just followed the data sheet here's a quick look at the box of cold there's 
10 uh, kilograms of, uh, you can feel the cold in there, of dry ice in there. warmth coming through the quench plates so I'm going to submerge these quench plates in cold water I've got a bucket outside already waiting and uh, I should have quenched my first knives but then that routine is everything then put it in the bucket of water Feel the lovely warmth coming through that. That's amazing. The amount of heat. That's the last two. I'm amazed at how quick these big aluminium plates take the heat away. I mean that was over a thousand degrees C just a few seconds ago. Now hold them in your hand. So they're hardened. Let's go in and uh, take them out of their foil wrapping and get them into the freeze. Let's just get this opened up. You can see how they've. Uh, Foil sucked in around the blade. Oh, look at that. You get some coloration where there was a bit of oxygen, but virtually no uh, no decarb at all. That's really good. out really well. That's amazing. I must have done a really good job at sealing them. Very little decarb.
Just a quick as quench from the quench plates hardness check. See where they're at. They should be over and around about 60 to 61, possibly 62 according to the data sheet. Let's see what we've got. <laughs> 62. Bang on. 62. I'm happy. Well, I've measured them all on the uh, Rockwell hardness tester and they're all coming out around about 60 1.5 to 62 HRC so uh, I'm now going to put them I'm going to put them individually in a rack, specially made rack it's only a simple thing um, to hold them separate and this will allow the CO2 dry ice to cool them equally on both sides at the moment there's no uh, CO2 in there just um, isopropanol alcohol rubbing alcohol basically so I'm going to fill it up currently that's at room temperature And then uh, we'll break up the dry ice and uh, introduce that bit by bit and reduce the temperature. 10 kilos of dry ice. So it's happening. There they are, a cooling. 